Hi everybody, thank you so very much for joining me again today. My name is Sharon and I am back with Max the Kangaroo who you met earlier and you can see that Max has his pouch or her pouch because it would be a mama kangaroo he's pretending to be with little baby Joey inside. So today we have Max and Joey to share our circle time. And you may remember from our greeting circle that the theme we're talking about is, is week two of zoo animals and we are talking about elephants and kangaroos. You guessed it. Those are often animals you will see when you go to the zoo. And we learned that zoos are like park-like areas where animals such as kangaroos or elephants or like last week, monkeys and apes, where animals live so that we, human beings, people, can learn about what their needs are and what their requirements are and how we can make their homes that are often in different, multiple different places around the world, on the other side of the world, how we can make those homes better with more food for these creatures and, and more home, home bases for them to live in and how we can help sustain their homes and make their homes safer for these beautiful creatures. You may remember that kangaroos come from a place called Australia and elephants come from a place called Asia or Africa. And I do have my globe here. And I just want to show you, this is where we live, way over here. And Australia is on the other side of the world, way over, oh, where are you, uh, Australia? Down here, it was hiding on me. So in the bottom half of the earth, the southern hemisphere, and then of course Africa is this big area right here. And again, we're on the other side of the world over here. So kangaroos and elephants come from a long ways away and our, our environment here in Canada is very, very different. But there's of course things that we can learn when they stay here in our zoos that we can help learn about what their needs are and apply those, those learnings that we pick up and help change the world on the other side to make their homes better. So let's talk a little bit about kangaroos. I've got a special story for you. It's kind of a funny story. It's called, Do Kangaroos Wear Seat Belts? That's a bit of a funny story. And it's written by Jane Kurtz. Can you see the little Joey in her pouch wearing a seat belt? That's funny. Let's, let's see what it says, okay? Can we go fast? Asked the boy. Can we blast to the zoo? It won't take long, said his mom. Sit still, you bouncy kangaroo. Mom, if we were kangaroos, would I have to wear a seat belt when you took me for a hopping, hopping ride? No, a mama kangaroo knows her joey won't go flopping. Her little one is safely tucked inside. Mom, if we were peng quit penguins, would we have to use the stroller in the places penguins go? You mean as we zip, zip on our slippery trips through Antarctic ice and snow? No, a penguin's bot body's nice for sporting and cavorting and for sliding on the ice. You can see them slip around on the ice. As sticky pages. Mom, if we were hippos, 
would you make me take your hand if I wanted to get cool and started running toward the pool? Do you see the hippo mom and the hippo child? Let's see. A mama hippo has legs, not arms, but she can hiss when she's alarmed. When she wants to budge her calf, she will nudge his bottom half. If anything dangerous wanders his way, she carries and ferries him safely away. Mom, if I was that monkey clowning around, would you, would you make me wear a helmet in case I tumbled down? Those monkeys don't look like they're treating him very nicely though, do they? I think if I was one of those monkeys, I would say, hey, stop teasing, that's not kind. A mama monkey isn't nervous that her young one will start slipping because she knows his hands and feet are made just right for gripping. She doesn't have to fret as he's sailing down the trail he can wrap and grab the branches with his prehensile tail. That's a big word. But remember we learned last week that they can use their hands and their feet to grip onto things and the tail is another added bonus to help them balance in the trees. Why would you have to come to the boy asked? All kinds of parents everywhere, wet or dry, low or high. Oh, you know what? I'm so sorry. I skipped a page. Mom, I wish I was a lion cub running wild and free. I would prowl and growl. My tail would bounce and then I'd pounce. Then I would be your lion mom. Let me remind you, I'd be behind you. Together we tumble and rumble in the grass. Why would you have to come too? The boy asked. All kinds of parents everywhere, wet or dry, low or high, whether their bodies are large or thin, covered with scales or fur or skin, do their best to take good care of their little ones. And you can see them all there. And you, my son, as you climb and spin, as you wobble and balance and wiggle and swim, you'll know I'm there to hold and hug, to keep you warm and safe and snug. Mom, the zoo was super fun with you. When I grow up, maybe I'll be a daddy kangaroo. What do you think? That's kind of a funny story. He's imagining what it would be like to be all of these different animals and how their moms or other family members take care of them. So monkeys definitely don't need to wear helmets. Kangaroos definitely don't need to wear seat belts. Hippos definitely don't need to hold each other's hands. Those are things that we do, not these animals. Let's have a look at a few pictures. I've got a special one here of an elephant. And have a look at that elephant. Look how big his ears are. Look how long his trunk is. So elephants use their trunks like straws and snort up a bunch of water that then they put into their mouths to drink or they splash over top of their bodies to keep them cool because where they're from it can get very very hot and you can see how wrinkly and thick their skin is and now how they have thick hooves for their feet these have a special name 
They come from a family called pachyderms. And other animals like rhinos and hippos, they are all part of that family because of their thick skin and their hooved feet. Can you see the elephant's ears? Some people think their ears act like um, fans. They help to cool their bodies. But you can see their wrinkly long trunk. And these things here, those are called tusks. And they're like long teeth sticking out of the elephant's mouth. So the sign language for elephant is just like a trunk, like you're mimicking a trunk. That's the sign for elephant. Yeah, you can do it. How about you, Max? Can you do it? Put your arm in front of you and you just wave it in front of you as if it's a trunk. So look what I have here. Here is a picture of a kangaroo. You can see how big his legs are. See how big those legs are? And look at that long tail. That long tail is full of muscle. That kangaroo can stand up on its long back legs and use its tail to lean on. And they are very, very strong. And they need to be strong because they're hopping all the time. Let's have a look at this one. This one, if you look very carefully, you can see there's a joey in her pouch. You can see the joey's head just sticking out right, up, right about there from her pouch, like a little pocket. And kangaroos also are from a bigger family. That family's called marsupials. And all animals that, ha that carry their little ones in a pouch like this until they're, they're bigger and able to, to, to move around the world on their own, those animals are, are part of the marsupial family. So there's other animals like there, like wallabies and wombats. Those are all marsupials. So the sign for kangaroos are like this. Like you're using your front paws to move forward as if the kangaroo is hopping. Good job, that's right. Now I have a little bit of a, a number riddle to play with you. These are different kangaroos. There's one kangaroo, two kangaroos, three kangaroos. This one has a joey in her pouch. Four kangaroos, another joey in her pouch. And five kangaroos with another joey in her pouch. So let's play this number game. Five kangaroos went out to explore. One jumped away and then there were four. Four kangaroos hiding by a tree. One jumped away and then there were three. Three kangaroos, not sure what to do. One jumped away and then there were two. Two kangaroos playing in the sun one hopped to her mother's pouch and then there was one. One kangaroo held her baby tight. She hopped away right out of sight. There's no more kangaroos. But we also have a number song for our elephants. And you guys have heard this before. Let's start it. You sing along with me once you hear me start. 
One elephant went out to play upon a spider's web one day. She had such enormous fun that she called for another elephant to come. Two elephants went out to play upon a spider's web one day. They had such enormous fun that they called for another elephant to come. Three elephants went out to play upon a spider's web one day. They had such enormous fun that they called for another elephant to come. Four elephants went out to play oh, upon a spider's web one day. They had such enormous fun that they called for another elephant to come. That spider's web is really getting heavy and stretching out because of all of the weight. Five elephants went out to play upon a spider's web one day. They had such enormous fun. Oh dear! But the spider web broke and they all fell down. Oh no, that was too much weight for that poor spider web. Do you think elephants could really play on a spider web? I don't think so. They all fell down and went boom! Boom! And we went boom too, right Max? We did. That was a fun, fun little song about our kangaroos and then our elephants. So we shared with you what we wanted to share and learned a bit about elephants and kangaroos. Elephants from the pachyderm family and kangaroos are marsupial. What do you think? It's probably time to say goodbye and give you guys a chance to go say bye or go and teach some of your family members what you've learned today. So let's say our goodbye song, okay Max? Bye bye elephants, bye bye. Bye bye kangaroos, bye bye. Bye bye monkeys, bye bye gorillas, bye bye chimpanzees, bye bye, bye bye. Bye for now friends. We'll see you next week for week three of Zoo Animals. Bye-bye.